Hi, my name is Helmut, and thank you for your interest in our AC Pro trip unit. In this video, we're going to cover how to program the AC Pro. It's a very simple and intuitive uh, process. So when you get, first get the AC Pro, it's uh, not commissioned, and you have to program it before you place it in service. And once it's been in service and already programmed, it's, it's really easy to go back and change the settings using the same procedure. Uh, this is our uh, little demo setup, and this is the AC Pro Trip unit. This is the Quick Trip uh, display and Quick Trip switch, and the Quick Trip system will be covered in another video. Before we get started, I just wanted to go over two commonly asked questions. So the first question is, um, how do I know what the settings should be for the, the AC Pro? Well, the best way to determine the settings is through a coordination study. The coordination study determines uh, the available fault current at the breaker, uh, also determines the time current characteristics of the upstream protective device, also the time current characteristics of the largest downstream device, and uh, the ampacity of the downstream conductors, the inrush current of any large motors. So with all this information, the settings can be determined that will provide system protection, selective coordination, and also reduced arc flash uh, hazard rating. If a uh, coordination study is not available, then the alternative is to match the settings of the protective device being replaced. The other commonly asked question is, can the AC Pro settings be changed with the trip unit in service? The answer is yes. The AC Pro will not do a nuisance trip. Also, protection is provided during the whole process except for about a half a second at the very end when the AC Pro recalculates all its internal constants. However, we don't recommend changing settings with the breaker in service because of the safety issues. It is much safer to change the settings after removing the breaker from service. If you must change the settings while the breaker is in service, please wear all the appropriate personal protective equipment. Before starting to program the AC Pro trip unit, it's best to have all the settings available. And these are the settings we're going to program into the trip unit. CT rating, 3,000 amp. Long time pickup, 2,000 amp. Long time delay, 15.0 seconds. Short time pickup, 9,500 amps. Short time delay, 0 0.15 seconds. Short time I squared T on. Instantaneous pickup off. Ground fault pickup, 1200 amp. Ground fault delay, 0 0.40 seconds. Ground fault I squared T on. Unbalanced pickup off. Quick trip ground fault, 800 amp. Quick trip instantaneous, 8000 amps. Looking at these settings, you'll notice that they're all either in amps or in seconds. There's no calculations required to convert the settings. Before we start programming, I'll explain the function of the key. The key is a security feature and limits access to the settings. Only somebody familiar with the AC Pro can enter or change the settings. The key is just a short piece of jumper wire placed in this two-pole terminal block. A paper clip works just fine. Insert the two-pole terminal block with the key jumper wire into its mating receptacle. The key is now in place. During the programming process, the AC Pro can be powered up in two different ways, using the external 24-volt power supply that plugs in here, or the internal battery. Today, we're going to use the internal battery. With the key jumper wire in place, push the review button to power up the AC Pro with the internal battery. The AC Pro will wake up and recognize the key jumper wire. The display shows enter data and then the serial number. At this point, these three buttons are now active. If no buttons are pushed for 30 seconds, the trip unit will abandon the enter settings and the AC Pro will also turn off if on battery power. That's why it's best to have all the settings ready before starting. Push the save button again and the display shows the hardware and firmware revision numbers. Push the save button again and the CT rating will be displayed. At this point, pushing the up or down buttons has no effect. This is a security feature 
to prevent somebody from accidentally changing the CT rating instead of the long time pickup. The CT rating programmed in the AC Pro must exactly match the CT tap on the breaker. If not, all the other settings will be incorrect. To unlock the CT security feature, push and hold the review button, then push the save button. Release both buttons. The CT security feature is now deactivated. So now these up and down buttons work. So you can see the CT rating is changing. So in this case, we want 3000 amps. So we'll scroll up to 3000. As you can see, there's very small steps, 3000, so that uh, any CT rating can be um, configured. Push the save button again, and long time pickup is displayed. In this case, we want 2000 amps, so we press the up button. And as, again, as you notice, the steps are very small, five amp steps. So we'll scroll up to 2000. And there we are, 2000. Push the save button again, and the long time delay band is shown. In this case, we want 15.0 seconds. There's 55 long time delay bands in total. So push the up button to get our desired setting of 15 seconds. There we are, 15.0 seconds. Push the save button again, and the short time pickup is displayed. In this case, we want 9,500 amps. So we push the up button. Again, you'll see it's in 100 amp steps, so very small increments. We go up to 9,500 amps. There we are, 9,500 amps. Push the save button again, and the short time delay bands are shown. And in this case, we want the 0 0.15 seconds. So there we are, 0 0.15 seconds. Push the save button again, and the short time I squared T function is shown. In this case, we want I squared T for short time on, so we'll press the up button, and it's on. Press the save button again, and the instantaneous pickup setting is displayed. In this case, we want off, so we'll just scroll down until we have instantaneous pickup off. Press the save button again and ground fault pickup setting is displayed. Here again, we want uh, 1200 amps. So we go up until we have 1200 amps. Push the save to get the ground fault delay setting. We want 0 0.40 seconds. So we'll go up to 0 0.40 seconds. Push the save. The ground fault I squared T is displayed and we want on in this case. So now we push the save again to move to the unbalanced pickup uh, function. And in this case, we want off. Push the save again. And because this is a communicating trip unit, the, the next setting is the address of the trip unit. In this case, we'll just leave it set to one, but you can set it uh, up or, or down. Push save again. And the reply delay for communication is displayed. In this case, we'll leave the, the default five milliseconds. Push save again. Now we're into the quick trip settings. The first setting is a ground fault quick trip. And we want 800 amps. So we go up to 800 amps. Push save again. And it's instantaneous quick trip pickup. In this case, we want 8,000 amps. So we scroll up to 8,000. And there we are, push save again. And the very last setting is thermal memory. And for most situations, uh, we wanna leave thermal memory on. So we'll press save. Also, because this is a communicating trip unit, we have another feature, force trip, and we'll turn that off. So now push save again. Now the unit prompts us to push save to save the settings or review, review the settings. In this case, we're happy with uh, the settings we entered, so we'll push save. And now the display prompts us to pull the key to commission the trip unit. So we'll pull the key, and the trip unit saved all the settings. So we're, we're now finished 
commissioning the AC Pro. Remove the key jumper wire and put the key plug back in the AC Pro. And that's it. We're done programming the AC Pro. The one important thing to remember is never place the AC Pro in service with the key jumper wire in place. As you've just seen, entering or changing the settings in the AC Pro is a very quick, easy, and simple process. The settings procedure is also described in the AC Pro manual, which is available on our website, www.utilityrelay.com. If you have any questions, please call us and we will be happy to help you.